Insulting people is a fine art. You want to make your insult be very direct and not be something that other people might argue with. You know, you want it to be something that many people agree is a bad thing, whether that's accurate or not. One very effective way of insulting women is by bringing up their sexuality. And the fantastic thing about this type of insult is that it does not rely on them having a particularly active sexuality. It can also go on them not having a very active sexuality. You can even use this without having any idea of their, you know, level of sexual activity at all. This is commonly known as slut shaming and these terms just instantly, you know, elicit a response in a lot of women. Scientists studying this field are actually proposing that in a while you won't even have to construct an insult yourself, but it will simply be to say to a woman, your sexuality, similar to how in African American communities, an insult can simply be your mother. When dealing with religious insults, it can also be very, very simple and simply go on just that the person you're insulting has a different faith than yours. And of course, your faith is the one true faith. This doesn't even have to be limited to whether, you know, it is monotheism or versus polytheism or even different brands of monotheism. It can even go on just separate denominations within the same overall faith. There does not need to be very much difference between your faith and the faith of the person you're intending to insult for you to claim that they have, they are of false faith and thus they are doomed to, you know, hellfire or something else depending on your specific religion. That is the beauty of insulting people. And remember, think, question, research. Don't take anybody else's word for it, and that includes mine. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.